They're so beautiful. I always say that they're really hard to, to make them look bad. They just look good, no matter really what you do. Once you put the resin on the wood, it just pops. Andy Lambrecht spends six months of the year tucked away in a small workshop in the Pemberton Valley. Here he combines his fine woodworking technique, a love for nature, and a passion for surfing. I made my first board and it turned out really good. And I got a lot of positive feedback from uh, a lot of my friends and peers. And, uh, and a couple friends actually wanted me to make boards for them. And so that's kind of how it all started. Eight years and 100 boards later, this ex-ski patroller has turned his hobby into a full-time job. When he's not surfing, of course, he found the typical polyurethane blanks and polyester resin too toxic. So the skilled carpenter turned to what he knew best, wood, and Pemberton is the perfect place for it. Canada really works for making wooden boards, just because Canada really is the land of wood. I make, all my, uh, I make all my boards out of reclaimed wood as well, and usually predominantly uh, western red cedar. Going over the board with precision, he is more of an artist than a builder, and he doesn't keep this talent to himself. Lambrecht offers several board making clinics throughout the Sea to Sky corridor and in Mexico. You're walking down to the beach, it's under your arm, People are always stopping you and saying, wow, that's a beautiful board, or geez, where'd you get that? And then when you say, oh, I made it, you know, they're like, no way, you know. Milled Western Red Cedar is laid out, creating a unique design for the board's surface, carefully laminating pieces together, smoothing out every bubble to ensure a clean, clear skin to be glued to the frame. The hardest part of the whole process is shaping the rails. As you build out the rails solid, they're square, and then you need to shape those rails to whatever profile or shape that you want them to be to match the board. The surf industry didn't need saving, but it is changing. With the emerging popularity of stand-up paddle boards, Lambrecht has expanded his clinics to include those too. 40% of his orders are for the 9-foot boards. Made with reclaimed wood from unique mountain locations, like a wave in the ocean, no two boards are the same. I made a board for a guy out of wood um, that was salvaged and reclaimed from the old orange chair top lift ramp. So every board kind of has a story. It used to be something else, and now it's a surfboard. And people really connect with that. From Pemberton, I'm Heather Butts for Shaw TV.